All right, back in the basement again, I wanna give you guys my first impressions of these Inzer Ergo Pro knee sleeves. I'm gonna leave timestamps below to help you jump to any point in time, depending on what you're most interested in. This pair right here, I actually got off of Amazon, and I say that because I initially ordered through Inzer, and I wanna start by talking about the ordering process. So probably like a lot of you out there, I was hesitant to get these because of the price. However, once I saw that the USPA was almost going to ban these and had to reevaluate them because they might be deemed illegal, it sparked my interest as it did for many other people out there. So I went to Inzer to buy these only because at the time, Amazon was not in stock. And if you've ever ordered anything from Inzer, like a belt or wraps, you probably know my pain that I'm going through in terms of their poor website planning, their lack of communication, no updates, and just the length of time it takes to get your product. And this kind of gives me flashbacks to when I ordered my first powerlifting belt many moons ago. So I ordered these and at the time, I believed they were in stock because there was no indication that they were not through Inzer. I got my order confirmation and said, items that are in stock are gonna ship within a few business days. And I thought, great, I'll have them in like a week or so. After two weeks and no updates from Inzer, I reached out to them and they let me know that everything was processing as normal and expect my sleeves in another two to three weeks. So by their account, it should take me five weeks or well over a month in order to get these. And I was very frustrated to say the least because again, I was under the expectation that these would ship if they were in stock, which I thought they were, and I'd have them roughly within a week. So once I got that email, I actually went back on Amazon and I saw that they were available and I ordered them from Amazon and I had them three days later. So from the time I ordered to the day I got them, literally 72 hours, can't really beat that. Now, in terms of the pricing of these goes, no matter who you get them through, they're going to be extremely expensive. And you're probably thinking, yes, $130 is expensive for a pair of knee sleeves. Little spoiler alert, it's gonna cost you over 160 if you use probably any of the methods that I used. So through Inzer, which doesn't charge tax for some reason, they charge you almost $30 to ship these sleeves. So very expensive in that route. And I can't imagine that these cost $30 to ship based off of what they are. I mean, they weigh probably two pounds in total with all the packaging and they can fit in pretty much any size box, even those flat rate boxes. I don't know why they're charging that much to ship these. But even Amazon, which the shipping is a little bit better through one of the resellers that I found, I think the shipping was $14. Amazon charges tax, so it ends up being around the same. So through Inzer, my initial invoice was $161 and change. Through the Amazon uh, person I use, $165 and change. So $4 more expensive, but I got these in three days versus five weeks. Now, in terms of my first impressions of these, I wanna talk about that next. So I talked about the ordering process. Inzer's terrible, we all know that. If you can buy on Amazon, do it, but they're all sold out. So just keep your eye open. Um, as far as the first impressions go, I'm the type of person I should state that I'm very skeptical about things. I don't buy into the hype oftentimes. If you tell me, hey, you gotta go see this movie, it's the best movie of the year, I'm probably gonna go see it and come out of it and be like, eh, it was okay right? I don't like to buy into that hype train, which is tough to do in the internet world these days, but these things have a lot of hype around them being like light wraps, being super stiff, like a cast. And I can honestly say taking these out of the box, I was like, wow, these are built different. And I have a lot of knee sleeves right now, including these, I have 16 pairs of knee sleeves in the basement. And that's actually quite down from what I had in my last basement because I gave, gave away a bunch of my duplicate colors or things I didn't need, maybe off sizing as I tried to find the right size. I've owned probably 25 to 30 pairs of knee sleeves in my lifetime. And out of all of them, these are tremendously different. And I say that because previously I stated most knee sleeves are all created equal for the most part if you size them down enough to get the tightest fit possible, they're probably all gonna perform in a similar fashion. Right out the box, you can tell that these things are different, but I won't go as far to say that that's going to equate to lifting, which I'll talk about in a second. So the biggest thing you notice is the weight and the heft on these. I weighed some of my more popular sleeves out here. One pair of knee sleeves here, or one sleeve if you will, for me weighed 0.9 pounds. My next closest was my stoic knee sleeves, which are my preferred sleeve, was like 0.45. So over twice the weight for one knee sleeve. So even one of these weighs as same as a pair of my other ones. Some of the more popular ones like SBD weigh less than that, the strong sleeves less than that. So even though the sizing and the look of these might be some pretty similar on camera to what else I have, the weight and the heft of these is undeniable as scale don't lie. Um, so really interesting. And these are really rigid too. You know, they're called springy. 
whatever you want to say, but these retain, retain their form pretty well. And you can actually see upon taking them out of the box and me holding them, these are really shaped to what your leg would look like, where a lot of sleeves are more of just like a cone shape or tapered from top to bottom, which these still are, but these actually have like an indentation for where you can see that your knee joint and your leg would go. Um, so I was very excited, yet hesitant to try these on. And I say that again, based off of the sizing that I got. So for me, I size these as a size small. The reason I did that is I was under the impression that my knee was a 13 and a half inch uh, circumference knee. And I did that because I have a ton of knee sleeves, like I said, and that's kind of think how I sized all my other sleeves. I look at what size they are, how I wear, how I fit, and 13 and a half seems to be the measurement that I use to get the best fitting knee sleeves for me. So I did that and I also looked at Inzer's website for sizing suggestions. But after I posted some teasers on Instagram about these that I ordered them, that they're in, and that I was gonna give them a shot soon, a lot of people asked what size I got. And a lot of people DM me saying, you're going to die and not going to be able to get those off RIP. So I was a little bit nervous about that, especially when I open these up, you also get this handy dandy card, which has instructions for taking the sleeves on are putting the sleeves on, taking them off, as well as a sizing chart. But one of the very interesting things about this is the sizing chart that Inzer provides you here with the sleeve itself is different than what they provide you on their website. So it's like, which one is correct? And according to some of you who commented on this, you told me Inzer recommends going off of the website for sizing, which my point is, then why do they send you this card still with incorrect sizing, especially after the fact that you already bought it. And my only logical thinking behind this is, is this is kind of like their fail safe to say, oh, if those sleeves don't fit, we sent you the sizing, you should have known better. Um, so just really interesting in that regard. So very anxious to try these on to see if they'd actually fit. I've heard a lot of things of people not being able to get these off and having to cut them. So I was hopeful that that wasn't going to be me based off of the fact that when I actually measured my knee, I saw that my knee was actually a 15 inch circumference knee. So an inch and a half more, which Good for me, always better to under promise and over deliver, uh, but really kind of nervous that these were not going to be able to fit. I wouldn't be able to get them on and I especially wouldn't be able to get them off. So actually trying them on and wearing them wasn't as bad as I thought. Getting them on, follow a similar process. And again, they include instructions. It's as simple as folding the bottom up, which is actually a little bit more difficult to do in these sleeves than normal, because again, there's not a lot of give on them. And my suggestion is to about fold them up halfway or so, and then fold the top down again, halfway or so. Ideally what you're gonna do, and I'll probably be showing you some video right now of me putting these on. Ideally what you wanna do though, is get this as compact as a unit as possible. And the reason being is you really wanna make sure that you get these sleeves up high on your leg so that your knee sits right in the middle of them. Because these are so stiff, so rigid, and in a lot of cases for people sizing them so small, it's difficult to get them up high on your quad, which then puts your knee very close to the top of the material, in which case, in my opinion, diminishes the impact of an effect these have and also can be a detriment to how they feel, which I'll talk about in a second. So fold the bottom, fold the top, put them on your legs and slide them up. One of the things I will really suggest to you is consider wearing longer socks in order to do this. If you have hairy legs, if you're sweating, you've already been training some, getting them on is going to be very difficult otherwise as these things will tend to stick to your legs as I'm sure you've probably noticed with other knee sleeves. But that's also gonna come into play when you're trying to get these things off, which again, I'll talk about in just a second. So fold the bottom, fold the top, get them up as high as you can up on your knee and then unfold them. Now, actually wearing them and walking around, the first thing I noticed once I got them on my knee is the fact that with a leg bent, the front lip of these tends to stick out a little bit, so I can definitely stick my fingers up in there. Um, but once you stand up, that tends to go away, and I believe I've seen somewhere on Inzer's documentation that this is not a problem, you know, that that's kind of common somewhat because again, they're so stiff and they're so rigid, they just don't conform as well in that regard. Now, actually standing up and walking around in these, I. I've only worn wraps, I think one time, way long ago, even before I started powerlifting in the gym. But one of the things that I associate with people who wear knee wraps is kind of that wrap waddle. You know, almost walking like a penguin because you can't really bend your knees so much. And I get definitely got that from these sleeves initially. So I had very high hopes in that regard. 
Then a couple of air squats, a couple of bar warmups, and I wore these for my deload training yesterday on squats, so I only worked up to a set of 405. One of the things I noticed with these, again, because they're so rigid and so dense and they don't have a lot of give to them, is when you go down into the hole, you do get some bunching up of the material like you do with a lot of sleeves, but because these things have no stretch and no give, it's very uncomfortable to wear these, especially if they're not on the right spot on your leg, because some of those bends and folds will hit you right in the back of your knee versus maybe the back of your thigh. So again, it's really important you get these up and you get your knee as close to the middle as possible, but it's very off-putting feeling wearing these. It's almost like a crunchy feeling because again, it's not stretching like an SBD pair of wood, like a stoic pair of wood. It's literally just folding onto itself and probably into the back of your leg. So very uncomfortable. Now, as far as the actual rebound goes and feeling out of the hole, to be honest, I didn't feel I got much out of these compared to my other knee sleeves. Yes, overall, they felt like my knee was more compressed, almost to a detriment as one time I felt like my kneecap was kind of being pushed down some and not just kind of hugged like some of my other maybe slightly looser or slightly more stretchy sleeves feel. Uh, but in the bottom of the hole, again, all I really felt was that bending over and that crumpling feeling, and I didn't necessarily feel more spring out of the bottom. And that's not to say that these won't provide that, but just in my testing up to 405, I don't necessarily feel like I got more out of these other than just more general discomfort. Now I will be testing these going forward. I'll do a follow-up video as I work heavier weights into them, but initial impressions in terms of return on investment or return of spring, I can't say definitively that these would add more to a squat than again, just a very tightly sized knee sleeve from some of the other brands that I'm accustomed to. So let's talk about getting these things off. And that is probably everyone's biggest fear I should say, maybe not getting these things off in that case. These things took me a long time to get off. I had the same flashbacks and worries that probably everyone worries about that, oh no, I'm not gonna be able to get these off. I'm gonna have to cut them. I'm gonna need to actually call my wife down here to come help me pull these things off me. These things, although getting them on was somewhat difficult, getting them off was an experience in themselves. It took a while. One of the things that helped is if you actually follow the instructions, so this is the one time that I probably recommend reading the instructions that come with this. Typically when I take off knee sleeves, I use a very similar process to putting them on, I just reverse it, right? So I fold up the bottoms, I fold down the tops, then I kind of wiggle them down. Do not fold up the bottoms on these. Even if you have no calves, like me, you still typically have a little bit of a change from you know the bottom of your knee to where your calves are. There's usually some sort of tapering out of your calf, even just a little bit. And it's really hard to get the material over that little hump, if you will, especially if it's folded up on top of itself. So in these, in this case, instead, just fold down the tops and not tremendously low, but maybe just like a couple inches or a third of the way down. And what I found helps best is you basically pick one spot, try to push it down just a little bit, a couple millimeters, a centimeter, any little bit helps and then kind of keep working around in a 360 degree fashion and keep doing that. It's gonna take a long time, but eventually the sleeves will start to give more and more, eventually to the point where you're able to kind of push them down off your calves. Again, wearing high socks helps, especially if you have hairy legs or sweaty legs. Now, for you guys out there with huge calves, I don't know what to tell you, but you're going to be in for definitely a struggle bus adventure because even me with these chicken legs, it took me a little while. And even though I got my mojo down in terms of how to do this, it's still not consistent yet. So I feel like over time as these break in slightly, I don't imagine they're gonna break in a ton again based off the material, the density, I think it'll get a little bit faster, but it's still going to be a slow and arduous process to get these things off. Going with a bigger size may have helped, but to be honest, I don't think I would size up for me just again, based off of how these fit, how these feel and how they compare to my other size knee sleeves, I would probably only wear these for like a one rep max or a super heavy set. One of the things with these being so uncomfortable and off-putting as I've already mentioned, is as soon as I was done with my squats for the day, I took these things off as fast as I could, which still wasn't relatively fast. Whereas versus my other sleeves, I'll leave on for all training just because I find them comfortable enough and not annoying to the point or hurtful enough where I want to take them off was not the case with these. I could not wait to get these off and the back of my legs were definitely feeling it uh, in the shower later that night, just based off of all the abuse they were taking from these sleeves as previously mentioned. So at the end of the day, do I recommend these? Again, 
Take this with a grain of salt, as this is just a first impressions video. I've only worn them once, and at this point, I don't feel like they offer me a ton more than some of my other sleeves. I would probably not recommend them for most people unless you're just looking for like a competition set of knee sleeves. So you want potentially the stiffest, the tightest fitting knee sleeves and the one that may give you the most out of the bottom of the squat. It might be worth investing in these in that case. But if you're just looking for like a first pair of knee sleeves, I think you can get away with a lot of other sleeves for a lot less and actually find that you'll use them more because again, there's no issues in terms of the material and the potential pain or discomfort that you wear with them. Uh, for example, I typically recommend Stoics because I find those are the best sleeves for the money. A pair typically costs around 60 bucks. SBDs are also usually a very good pair to get. However, I normally steer people away from them because I consider those expensive at around $100 a pair where the Stoics are 60. Given these are 160 at the end of the day, SBD or Stoics are a bargain compared to these. But again, there is a definite uh, noticeably difference between how these feel versus any other pair of sleeves that I've owned to this point. Uh, but the $160, and I'm not 100% sure it's gonna return on your investment in terms of a squat. At this point, it's really hard to recommend these. So give them a go if you're interested. Let me know how you think about them, what you feel. Do you feel you get a bunch out of squats? There's a ton of people who said, oh, they're gonna add you know anywhere from 10 to 20 pounds. I think it's really hard to put a number on something like that because people were doing that you know, when the SBDs and stuff came out. Basically, whenever someone stopped buying the Ray-Bans and they started wearing some of these other sleeves, they said, oh, it adds five pounds, it adds 10 pounds. It's hard to quantify that, uh, but these are definitely a different breed of sleeves. I just don't know that they're necessarily good for most people out there. But as always, let me know what you think in the comment section below. In the meantime, thanks for watching and stay big.